Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with the toy room and a couple weeks ago We took a look at the brand new Nintendo Alarmo and as I've had more time to live with it and put it through its paces and use it in my everyday life I came up with this top five list of things that I think Nintendo needs to do to improve this because as it stands I really don't feel like I got my hundred dollars worth and there's some features missing There's some annoyances uh, while using this and operating it that I just wish Nintendo would update and fix in the future down the line Somehow some way so that's what we're gonna do in today's video We're gonna take a look at the top five things that Nintendo can do to improve the brand new Nintendo Alarmo. All right, you guys, so starting at number five, I'm gonna go in order from like least of importance to, to greatest importance. So number one is gonna be the top, you know, top thing and number five is gonna be the least important. So starting at number five, there are these annoying sounds, at least annoying for me, that when you have your alarm playing, depending what it is, like Mario, you might have some coin blocks being crushed or in uh, Legend of Zelda, you might have, you know, fairies or Zelda telling Link to wake up or fairies making noises or something like that. Pikmin, you, have, you hear the Pikmin. Splatoon, you hear the gun splatter, but you hear this over the actual song that's playing. And I really wish that there was a toggle switch for these sound effects because I personally find these sound effects extremely, extremely annoying. And I'll show some B-roll of what that actually sounds like. So as you can see, it's just, I don't know, to me, I just find it annoying and it really interrupts the whole vibe and flow of the song. Me personally, I just want to hear the song itself, the background music. I don't want to hear these other sound effects and I kind of get it as it's more of an annoyance there to kind of force you to get up and wake you up. But me personally, the whole reason I got this is because I want to vibe out to these songs as I'm waking up and I don't want the interruption. So they don't need to necessarily get rid of the, the sounds in general because I feel like maybe some people do enjoy it, but just have a little on and off switch for these sounds. I think that would be a great improvement and honestly like I prefer to hear the music over these sound effects anyways and a lot of these sound effects are very annoying and just very repetitive and just kind of actually drown out the, the sound that's playing or the background noise or whatever and it just takes me out of it so a toggle switch on these sound effects would be greatly improved anyways moving on to number four okay so number four is a little bit of annoyance as well just like the previous entry but this one is way way more annoying because every single time that I want to change my alarm and I'm looking for a particular song or I just don't remember what every song sounds like there's no like preview function to hear the sound or hear the, the song that you're going to pick for your alarm. The only way to actually figure out what your alarm is going to sound like is by setting the alarm or the quickest way to do it I should say is to set the alarm for one minute in the future, select whatever song it's going to be and then wait for that alarm and go off and then if you decide you don't want that song then you have to kind of repeat the process again through whatever list of songs you're looking through and that's the only way to do it. Either that or you can look up a YouTube video of uh, uh, people have posted like YouTube videos of what every alarm sounds like but that just kind of defeats the purpose for me it, especially because every single time you set your alarm you have to pick a specific song that you want and somebody like me I don't like to hear the same thing every single time and but I don't necessarily like every song option available to me either to put it on shuffle so I just want to select you know a, a handful of songs that I like and not being able to actually like preview all of this in here just kind of seems like a missed opportunity, especially since I have to go through the song menu anyways when setting my alarm. So if there would just be an option to actually, you know, when you're hovering over the song to preview it, that would be great because as it stands right now, there's no other way to do it, at least that I could figure out. And the only way to do it is to go through the menu, set your alarm in the future, and you know do it that way so personally that's what I would love to see is some sort of preview function on the alarms I mean it seems pretty easy I don't know why that's not even there from the beginning especially since you're hovering over the songs already but anyways that, that that's kind of been my biggest annoyance with using this is not being able to preview what alarm I'm going to pick. Anyways, moving on to number three. All right, so moving on to number three, it's kind of a toss up between the third and second place. They're kind of both tied in my opinion, but I'm gonna put this at number three and that is the song selection. Honestly, the song selection on here really is not that great in my opinion. Out of the games that are included in here, the only games that I really care for the songs for are Mario and Legend of Zelda. Uh, Pikmin doesn't really do it for me, Splatoon doesn't really do it for me, and Ring Fit Adventure, I don't even know why that's in here to be honest with you, uh, but that doesn't really do it for me either. Um, and then out of Mario and Zelda, the selection on here really, there's only like, out of Mario, there's maybe only two songs that I would pick, and same with Legend of Zelda as well. Uh, I just wish that there was more option, more variety. Now, I know we are getting Mario Kart and Animal Crossing down the line. Mario Kart, I am kind of excited for, and Animal Crossing, uh, it depends what they put in there. I'm not the biggest Animal Crossing fan, but some of the music is pretty good, so we'll have to see with that. But 
especially now that Nintendo has recently dropped it. I'm gonna pull it up here on my phone. All right, so especially since now Nintendo dropped their Nintendo Music app, which has a whole library of a bunch of different titles in here from all different games and different platforms. And it's not just like certain songs, it's the entire soundtrack of these games that you see here. So I really wish that Nintendo would kind of incorporate the Nintendo Music library into the Nintendo Alarmo. I mean, that would just make the most sense to me. It, it seems like a, a pretty easy, just like take everything from Nintendo Music and drop all those files into a, a downloadable update for the Nintendo Alarmo. But uh, the options on here aren't that great in my opinion. You don't have a lot of options and I don't see like what's what's stopping them from giving us such a variety especially uh because they could literally just dump every all the files and everything they have from nintendo music into here just having the ocarina of time soundtrack in here star fox 64 donkey kong country like do you know what i would give to have donkey kong country in nintendo alarmo uh you got kirby's dreamland metroid the original super mario brothers metroid prime mario galaxy another phenomenal soundtrack um why is there no GameCube in here? Oh, I'm sorry, the only GameCube is Metroid Prime, but uh, Mario Sunshine, get that on here ASAP, Nintendo. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, another great soundtrack, which again is in here in Alarmo, but not all of the best songs from um, Mario Odyssey are in here. So uh, that's what I would like to see, a greater song selection and more preferably just dumping everything that you have in Nintendo Music into Nintendo Alarmo and you'd be good to go. All right, moving on to number two. I really wish that this had some sort of smart features, kind of like either Alexa or uh, Google Home or something like that, where you can just talk to it, say like, hey Nintendo, and give it some commands, make it set an alarm for you versus having to manually go in and set an alarm yourself. Because to be honest, it is kind of time consuming now. We're, we're talking like a matter of, you know, 20 seconds, but 20 seconds to set an alarm is, you know, time consuming when it comes to setting an alarm. Sometimes, honestly, I wish I could just say like, hey Nintendo, set an alarm to this this and this and it does it and you can even tell it like hey set an alarm for a Zelda theme song or you know something like that or name a specific song but I do wish that this had some sort of smart features now that is a feature that I know would not be able to come to this because if you've seen the teardown videos of Alarmo uh, there's not actually the technology in there to add it via an update or anything like that however if they made like a 2.0 version I would love to see some smart features even have it being able to control you know, partner up with um, Amazon or partner up with Google and have this control your smart, you know, stuff in your home. So that way you can get some more use out of this. And to be honest, like uh, an Alexa that's kind of similar in shape to this, I think it's the Alexa, I forgot what it is, but I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, basically same design, um, but you know, has all the smart features in it. And I think it's only $20, it costs $20 more than this Alarmo. So just having smart features in here would be great, especially in the day and age that we live in with technology and having, you know, smart lights and smart lamps and smart outlets and everything is smart nowadays, smart TVs and everything like that. So just having this have some sort of smart features and assistant on here where you can have it set alarms or tell you stuff or whatever the case may be. I think that was a really, really big missed opportunity and Nintendo really should partner up. If they don't do it in house, partner up with Amazon, partner up with Google, and just do something. Make an alarm you know, smart home type of thing. That's what I think desperately needs to happen. All right, and the last feature, the number one most important feature that I think Alarmo needs is not anything actually on Alarmo itself, but having a companion app, which kind of blows my mind why there is no Alarmo companion app for this, where you can have an app on your phone, you can actually see uh, your sleep patterns that you can actually, you can see it in Alarmo, but it is kind of weird to look at it in Alarmo and nobody's really gonna try and look at their sleep patterns on this little clock, on this little screen. So why not have a companion app on your phone where you can see that data, but also you can you know sync up. If you wanna set an alarm instead of having to do it through here, just go on your phone real quick, set an alarm. I know that kind of takes um, the interaction directly with Alarmo out, but I do feel like there be, needs to be some sort of companion app I think it would make going through the menus here a lot easier and a lot quicker if you're just doing it on your phone um, but yeah definitely some sort of companion app I don't know why that's not there especially when you have all that data for sleep tracking I just want to know who Nintendo thought was actually going to look at that sleep tracking data on here and on this little screen it is kind of hard to even understand what you're looking at what you're reading so just having it on your phone on your tablet or something like that I think would be much improved and like I said being able to set alarms from your phone would be a lot quicker process um, you know, just being able to switch songs on here and all that stuff. I, I don't know why there's not a Nintendo Alarmo app for your phone. That just absolutely blows my mind. And, you know, going back to you just dropped a Nintendo Music app. How could you not make a Nintendo Alarmo app? That, that really blows my mind. But anyways, those are the top five features that I think Nintendo needs to add. 
uh, on this version of Alarmo as well as, you know, if they ever do like a 2.0 version, you know, uh, having a companion app, having some sort of smart assistant on board, being able to change uh, or preview your alarms. I already forgot my whole list. Uh, preview alarms. Oh, take out those annoying voices, a toggle switch for the annoying voices. Um, and then the song selection, which again, they said they're going to be updating down the line, but the only confirmation of updates we have is Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. So hopefully we get some more stuff down the line and more more options for stuff that already exists and you know some retro titles as well would be nice it doesn't have to be on nintendo switch titles which at the moment seems like what they're doing but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments down below uh, do you guys have nintendo alarmo or do you agree with the features i chose or there's some other features you would like to see definitely let me know down in the comments below but that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like comment and subscribe share this video with your friends be sure to follow me on instagram and tiktok those links are in the description down below and i'm gonna go ahead and get on out of here so as always guys stay tuned for more and i'll see you guys next time